What's up guys, Nathan here, welcome back to episode 5 now of the Red Division 1. As you can see, we did this uh, French tournament, um, uh, something to do with July, I think. Um, judging by the name, but I don't really have a clue what it was about. Um, but we got 350k back for it, and uh, we didn't really get anyone. Nice, um, good, some okay transfers, like uh, Alex Vidal, um, Shah, and uh, we also got two players that we would have, which is pretty annoying, to be honest. And you can see I sold on uh, some players, and the backup team, and the French players as well, because I'm obviously building a new squad and stuff, so I'll be in the title, because... Well, Division 8, it's time to strengthen up, and we've got plenty of coins to do so. Um, yeah, so I'm building the team here. Uh, as you can see, we've got Kashani, um, Hart, Anua, um, Walker, who we got in a free pack, Dembele, who we got in a free pack, uh, Flipper Louise, uh, Masic, um, Ramirez, Ericsson, Diego Costa, and Sturridge is our lineup. They the Fortress 2 second one, and uh, you'll see a switch later in the episode, but uh, we're not going to that. Instead, we'll uh, look at look ahead towards this game, which is um, against a team, which is a BPL team as well. We've got two uh, here, weak link in there, and that was uh, Sanchez at CDM, um, the Colombian, and um, he just didn't really play well, to be honest. And uh, somehow we kept scoring like this. It was a real weird game for some reason. It just felt weird, like I shouldn't be winning that much um, by the score line. But um, yeah, we did a nice one too here. And um, his players just can't clear the ball, and Costa just, you know, his player falls over there and just blasts in the top corner. Easy does it. And um, this guy gets a goal here, I think. Yeah, he plays through uh, Sturridge, and um, not really much I can do about that, because Sturridge is obviously, I think, he is the top goal scorer in the whole of the Holman team. I think that's why he got a pink card, and everyone got a lone one, so he's probably, that basically proves that he's the best striker in the game. Um, Sort of, I guess, and we're in 4 1 in the end with a late goal from Sturridge as well. Um, and uh, we get 700 coins that game, plus 200 coin boost, of course. And uh, yeah, then we're going into this team. And I was really looking forward to this one because it's going to be a real challenge. Um, but after this point, it stopped recording, and um, I managed to get the end. Uh, I lost 4 2. Um, Pretty sad to be honest because I really that was a real good game to be honest and I lost the whole footage. Even though I lost, even though I don't like editing games, I've lost. But um it was a real challenge, but obviously we got completely wrecked in the end and um it didn't end too great. But obviously I'm just gonna play three games that we have to win. We have to win three games an episode, that is basically it. If you wanna get this series done, uh, and if you wanna win start even a chance of winning division one. Um yeah, so we score there. Uh, with so and so, I don't even know who it was. And um, we basically ran down the wing here with um, thingy, someone, I don't know. Oh no, we played with the fitness team, that's why I couldn't remember anymore. Um, yeah, we score. We win 2 0, and the guy stopped playing after that for some reason. Um, he was 2 0 down and he stopped playing, which kind of confused me. He, he could have easily come back. I mean, I wasn't even feeling that confident in that team anymore. But I decided to make a big signing. I signed Ian Maria for 18,000 coins. A pretty decent signing. Um, he's one of my favourite players on the game. And I thought switching up to a 4 2 would offer, offer a bit more width. And that's what I think I thought that was the weakness in this team. No width. Uh, and uh, we needed width going forward as well. So that's why I've got Dean Maria in there because he's quite fast. I did keep Ericsson uh, for his like last chance because he didn't impress me. But he did in this game. He did good. Um, and I've got an interesting story to tell you about uh, towards the end of this game, but we're just completely destroying this guy. He's pretty bad to be honest at the game. But he does intercept there, and um, yeah. Um, we pass out from the back, and we give it up again, and Pjanic gets on the ball and just fires home. And um, yeah, so that was um, partially my fault being uh, too uh, stupid at the back. And uh, Costa goes through here and just fires home. You know, this this is basically what the, the whole squad is about. You know, playing through Costa and Sturridge, and um, it's a bit. It's not really about pace and power like I usually like in my um strike force. When I play two, I have the one who's fast and like agile, and uh, I have the one that's uh, strong and quick and uh, strong and tall. But because they're both quite tall, and Costa is quite fast and uh, Sturridge is very fast, 
and they're both quite strong as well to be honest so it, it's kind of a real good stroke force to have um, unless of, of course later in this series we somehow get 40k in by Aguero that is the only striker that will be coming into this team um, because Aguero is a brilliant player and is slightly better than Costa to be honest and that's who I put up front um, and then yeah then they, he gets a goal back 4-2 I think and uh, we just basically completely uh, just crush crush him again I guess so you know, deliver another crushing blow and we just run for one goal and straight from kickoff and around all these players with Costa just just kind of shut him up really at scoring and this is where I stopped playing because my cat no, no word for light, jumped from a window with a frog in its mouth. And it, the frog was alive, so, and it started jumping around, and I don't like frogs particularly. So, um, yeah, no bullshit there whatsoever, um, honestly. But that's it for the video, guys. Cheers for watching, and uh, have a nice day. See ya.